This is the video for Chemistry Unit 2, Homework Number 1. I apologize for the handwriting in this one because I don't have my stylus with me, so yeah, just bear with me. Uh, the very first question, what are the three fundamental particles that make up the atom? I think you can handle that one on your own. If not, we've got some bigger issues. Uh, so I'm going to go to number two. And I'm going to do just a couple of these. The very first one, um, it has the element, and that's P here. It looks for the atomic number, the mass number. It gives us the number of protons, and it gives us the number of neutrons. The atomic number is always the same as the number of protons. We've talked about that a little bit. So your atomic number should be 15 here. And the mass number, we just add together the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So that should give us 31 in this case. So that should fill in your first column for you. I'm going to jump down now to the third column. I'm going to skip the second one. I'm going to go to the third column. In the third column, it tells us that our mass number is 23 and that our number of protons is 10. <clears throat> There's a first one that's that should be really easy for you. The atomic number here has to be 10 because that's the same as the number of protons. Since we know that the atomic number is 10, we can also figure out that this element is neon because that's the only element that has an atomic number of 10. The last thing we have to figure out is the number of neutrons. We'll take 23 minus 10, and that should give us 13 for the number of neutrons. I'll also do the very last one for you here, um, and that tells us that our mass number is 29, and that our number of neutrons this time is 15. To figure this one out, we can subtract again to find the number of protons. 29 minus 15 gives us 14. That means that the atomic number is also 14, and that our element is silicon, S-I. So that should take care of number two for you. Uh, number three, if you need to, you can just look it up. Um, and number four, I'll go ahead and do that one for you here uh, just real shortly. Um, I'll switch colors here. The electron, proton, and neutron. Um, the symbol for each of these, I know we didn't talk about this in class, it's just E minus P and N, nothing too complicated there. The mass, uh, you can confuse yourself on this. We really say that the electron has a mass of zero, and the proton and neutron, when we're looking at mass number, each have a mass of one. Nothing too crazy there. And then the relative charge, electrons, the flow of negatively charged particles is electricity, so negative one. Protons are positive one, and neutrons are neutral, or have a zero charge. <clears throat> uh, I'll now skip down to number six. Number six, I'm going to skip number five and go to six. Um, and number six asks us to calculate the average atomic mass of carbon, given, given the relative atomic masses and abundances of each of the isotopes listed below. And this tells us that 98.9% .9 of carbon has a mass of 12 AMU. I'm going to convert that percentage to a decimal, so 0.989 times 12, plus the second piece there, 1.09% of carbon has a mass of 13 AMU, so 0 0.0109 <coughs> excuse me, uh, times 13, and then plus, and I'm going to have to scoot down to the bottom here, plus 0.0100% of carbon has a mass of 14 AMU. So now we're at 0 0.000100 times 14. And that equals, if you run that through your calculator, and I'm going to do that real quickly here, Twelve point zero one one one. If we uh, round that to sig figs, we should have four sig figs there. So twelve point, excuse me, we should have three sig figs there. So twelve point zero amu. And if you check that on the uh, 
periodic table that is very, very close. In fact, it is the atomic mass of carbon. Okay, <clears throat> and then uh, for number seven, we will just do, uh, I will just do one of these for you. Um, and I'll go ahead and do the third column down. I'll do the third column down. And it gives us the atomic mass, uh, which it says is 63. And it also gives us the number of neutrons, which is 34. To find the number of protons, all we have to do is subtract. And that's going to give us 29 protons. The symbol, remember, um, the symbol we're going to have the number of protons on the bottom, so a little 29, and the atomic mass on the top. Okay? That atomic number is 29. And if you look on the periodic table, 29 is copper. So we're going to have CU there. So that's our symbol, and that should fill in uh, that piece of your homework for you. And then the element here is just copper. Hopefully that helps you a little bit with uh, homework number one. Good luck, and I will see you on Friday.